Joan Leonard manages Ohio State's Biological Sciences Greenhouse. Every major university would have um, either a teaching, research, or a facility that does both, such as our facility here, as well as many major uh, large cities have a uh, conservatory, a botanical garden, and then research facilities such as Dow or Monsanto have research facilities that would be similar to ours. Although the greenhouse isn't unique, it is certainly important to many researchers at Ohio State. It provides strictly controlled climate for growing plants used in experiments. Every different researcher has a different idea of what they need for their projects. We can do something very simple as um, temperature humidity control to uh, force into flowering for a plant. We, or pull something out of dormancy, or if we have an entomology project, we're actually raising plants to be fed to or rear insect colonies on, and those have different kind of requirements. So we work with the researchers individually to get control of the facility and grow what they need to grow as best as we can. Carefully controlling the environment in which a plant grows can remove one set of variables in an experiment, allowing other variables to be isolated. But for the sake of the scientific method, the environmental variables need to be recorded. So we collect the temperatures, humidity, light levels, um, many uh, inputs. And then we're able to turn that over to the researchers, typically in a file format that they can uh, pull out uh, raw data, analyze how the temperature was in one room, and perhaps compare that to the life cycle of their plant. The Biological Sciences Greenhouse occupies 15,000 square feet on the top of a parking garage where it's exposed to Ohio's weather. The room mimicking the environment of a desert is separated from our local winter by a glass roof and is next to a room containing plants from tropical rainforests. It's no wonder that environments in each room are controlled by a computer. Then we also have an environmental control system for this facility that is um, you know, a computer operated and we'd be able to, right now we are able to remotely access the information so if there's some kind of a temperature problem, say uh, it's raining too hot in a greenhouse that will actually call me up, let me know that there's an alarm, I can dial in from home, remotely access the computer and see what exactly might be the problem. I may or may not be able to fix it from home but I would be able to at least do some diagnostic work as we try and target what the problem would be. In addition to controlling the environments for growing plants, computers also help catalog the plants. We also have a database of our plant collections that help us keep track of the plants that we have and um, you know, how we use those collections. And just as remote access to the environmental control system is important, given the size and configuration of the greenhouse, plants themselves can be pretty remote from the collections database. And what we would like to be able to do is to make that wireless and we can access that through um, the internet so folks can be up here and they can look at a plant, there's a barcode on all of our labels, they'd be able to read the barcode off of that and be able to pull up more information about that specific plant than what we can fit onto a standard label. Also helps us to manage the database. If I can go in there and say, this plant needs to be repotted, this plant over here needs to be divided, I can make personal notes in there for how we need to maintain the collection. So a handheld wireless device could help care for the plants, not only individually, but also collectively. We could use the, the handheld to get into our environmental control system, so I could be over in one of the far greenhouse rooms, and I could actually call up the control system on a handheld and do some programming there versus walking back to my office to do the programming um, at that point. So I could actually do the program while I'm in the room or perhaps run a test. Hey, that vent's not open. Let me manually open it from here. Hmm, it's still not working. I think I need to go and investigate more why this isn't working. Is it the programming that's not working or is it a mechanical failure? So that could help us not have to run back and forth between where we are in the greenhouse and back to the control panels to test things like that. In addition to remote access to the environmental control computer, a wireless network throughout the greenhouse with portable devices, maybe with custom software for database access, helps to automate data collection. And that makes Joan's job easier which improves the level of service that she can give to Ohio State's researchers. 
And then as far as um, other data that we would collect on there, they would give us a chance to live update the information that's on the database. So instead of collecting data and going back and having somebody type it in at a later date, does it get in there? Does it get transcribed correctly? We would have that immediately done you know, while you're standing there. Yes, this plant is flowering today. And that immediately goes into the computer and you know, into the database, and that information is now stored without having to remember to go back and do it. Thank you.